I'm curious, do you prefer hand expression or pumping? Do you even know how to hand express? I am hoping that after this video, you can feel confident in your ability to hand express. I know it can take a long time when you're first starting out. I know that a lot of the literature in the video sometimes aren't very clear as to what you're actually doing. And I also know that really, it sounds weird to, to kind of milk yourself, but I promise if you practice and you do it frequently, it may very well be faster than the pump and you will yield more. And even if you're not interested in hand expressing, I hope that this video will help you in the sense that by understanding that compressions during pumping helps build your supply, the tips that I am going to mention about hand expressing, expression can be used when you are pumping as well. So let's get to it, okay? What I see a lot and what I recommend um, if you are, um, if you haven't fed your baby previous to this expression session, that you massage your breast for about a minute or so. So you can jiggle your boobs, you can massage them, you can apply warm heat to your breast, but this really helps just get things moving, blood flow to your breast, which will help the process, okay? I like to feed first, so I'll feed her, and then right afterwards, I that's when I choose to do my expression. Um, that way I don't even have to do the there's no extra work involved, okay? So I know a lot of the videos um, in literature show, you know, making sure you're cupping your hand, because you can, um, and you want to uh, go with your hand underneath your breast and your thumb above. My nipple's right here, my areola is about right here, and my hand is behind my areola. Okay, so you will probably be tempted originally to squeeze very near to your nipple. You don't want to do that because all of the good parts that you're trying to express are deeper into your breast. You also want to make sure you're not doing this sliding motion because for one, you're not um, putting a lot of direct pressure that way. And if you are and you're stroking down, you're, you're really apt to bruise yourself, but also it kind of irritates your skin. And that's really not the movement that um, I use. And um, I recommend to uh, not do it that way. Anyways, excuse me. So hand behind your areola, okay? And what I normally do is I kind of squeeze in my my hand towards my body and squeeze down okay so kind of like that okay back and not, you don't have to lift your whole breast up but just for an exaggerated um visual i'm going to okay so you're going to pull back and then squeeze down okay so what it looks like for me normally is like that okay so when I squeeze, when I, when I put pressure, and it's not a firm squeeze, I'm, I'm literally just putting enough pressure to flatten my breast until I can't go any deeper, okay? So if I was more engorged, it may not be this, this far down. And that's perfectly okay, especially when you're first starting out and your breasts are really firm. You may not be able to, to, to feel comfortable putting more than just a little bit of pressure, okay? But if you put, if, when, you, when you grab your breast, you may be able to feel like what like cords or like little balls and those are what those are your ducts that are full um even though you even if you don't feel that that doesn't mean your milk's not in there but i notice that when i'm really engorged that's when i feel that the most where i get really like a visually lumpy on the sides so what i like to do is start off hand expressing closer to my areola um because that's where some of the milk is pooling, um, just in the ducts itself. And so I like to clear that out first. And then what I do is I go towards any spots that are of concern. So if I'm having like a lot of plumping over here, I will squeeze, not my whole breast, but literally where the clumping is. 
and kind of see if anything comes out of my nipples there. Um, I also hand express this way and this hand and that way. I try to make sure that every area of my breast from the bottom around is compressed, okay? And this is the same thing that should be true with hand compressions during pumping. The only problem with that is you gotta be very aware of the shape of your breast because you'll lose suction and that can get very, very annoying if you are um, not paying attention to that. So I start off closer to my nipple, not, never going, I, okay, to say never, that's not true. Sometimes I do go on my areola and squeeze out, but that's really just to make sure that I'm clearing that part out. But really you are able to hand express completely behind your areola. You'll find what works for you. Some, some people find though very far back is what works better for them. Sometimes you might find that closer to your nipple works. So there is some wiggle room on that, but you don't want to squeeze very hard. You don't want to stroke. Um, and it's really quite easy. Now at the very beginning, you might not yield a lot and it may take a lot of arm power and that's normal. As you continue to express and your breast gets primed, it will flow easier. And you may notice that instead of getting, you know, drips or a few sprays, that in the middle of your hand expression, you will literally have a, a letdown um, and it will flow fast. So on a, at this point, I can pump about, I can express about, you know, a couple ounces in five to six minutes if given, you know, the free time to do it. So it really can be quite fast. If you have any other questions about hand expression, please let me know. I always recommend compressions while pumping. You'll increase how much you're producing. And also, if you are concerned with your supply before you even try any galactagogues like fenugreek or Gatorade or beer or lactation cookies, try this first, okay? For a couple of days, if you pump, pump with breast compressions and then hand express afterwards. If you're not pumping and you're concerned about your supply, try getting a pump, rent a pump through your, I know a lot of insurances are covering them now. Um, maybe find a, a place where you can rent a local hospital grade pump, which is a closed pump system and do breast compressions while you pump. If you're, you don't have a pump and you don't have any money, that's completely fine too. That's the good thing about hand expression is it's completely free. Practice hand expression a couple times a day for about, you know, a couple days and see if you're getting any more. Uh, I'd love to hear if any of the tips work for you. Um, for plug ducts, this is especially true because I like to, because I'm going around in any hard spots, I'm already preemptively expressing any areas that are, that may get clogged. But if you do experience a plug duct, it's okay. The technique with the hand expression and the, the compressions with the um, pumping should help. If not, I'll be posting another video about what you specifically can do to get rid of plug ducts. Hope this helps. Feel free to leave me a comment, a message. Check me out on Facebook, Facebook slash Chandra Montes. Bye.